figure shows an alcohol thermometer. A. State two properties of alcohol which makes it suitable for use in a thermometer. The most two well-known liquids that are used in thermometers are mercury and alcohol. And any liquid that will be used in a liquid in glass thermometer must have some special properties. Among these are, has high expansivity, so its expansion by heating and contraction by cooling can be easily observed. Number two, has linear expansion, so it expands uniformly over a wide range of temperatures. Let's see what does the mark scheme add. You can say expands uniformly over required range. This is what we say linear expansion. You can say remains liquid over the required range. Or expands more than glass, has high expansivity or expansion. Another answer is has reasonably low specific heat capacity. The concept specific heat capacity will be discussed later in this chapter. Another answer is that you can say it's relatively non-toxic or low freezing point or melting point or measures low temperature. Some answers will be ignored, like reacts to small temperature changes. You can talk about expansivity instead of this. Another thing that will be ignored is to say high boiling point. Even the high boiling point is an advantage for the liquid used in thermometers. But you cannot say it here, because alcohol does not have high boiling point. Question B. Explain why it's an advantage for the glass surrounding the alcohol in the bulb of the thermometer to be very thin. Let's see how does the thermometer work. This thermometer is used to measure the temperature of vapor above water. Heat flows from the vapor into the mercury in the bulb, so it then expands according to the temperature. So, the glass of the bulb, which is surrounding mercury, must be very thin, so heat can flow into the bulb easily. We can say, so heat transfers to the liquid in the bulb faster. The mark scheme also adds more things. Allow faster flow of heat to or from alcohol or allow faster response to temperature change or because glass is a poor conductor good insulator so need to be thin for fast response you can also say heat transfer more efficient and faster another answer is glass takes up less heat any reference to sensitivity will be ignored because sensitivity isn't how fast the thermometer will respond to temperature changes Sensitivity is the spacing between the degrees, whatever the time of response is. Also, the word easier will be ignored because it does not give any scientific explanation.